Now we would like to have uh, Professor Ravi Gunatilike, the associate head of the department, as well as the one in charge of this competition. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you. Uh, Chairman of the uh, Hong Kong Toys Council, Mr. Bernie Cheng. Chairman of the Toy Manufacturers Association of Hong Kong, Mr. Tam. Chairman elect of the Hong Kong Toys Council, Mr. John Tong. Vice Chairman of the Hong Kong Toys Council as well. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, a, very, um, a very big honor for me uh, to be here. Um, and uh, I'm happy to say that within about 30 minutes, we are going to announce who the winners are of this competition. When uh, Professor Fuji Sung uh, first came to me and said, Ravi, we need to organize a design competition, I could have gone in many different ways. I could have had a furniture design competition. I could have done a footwear design competition, but I decided to do toys. I believe toys govern a person's life. This is the way that children learn about the real world. This is the way that we can educate children about what happens, how they can experience various things. I'm sure many of you here have played with building blocks, right? Have you played with building blocks? You put these blocks together, and you know the objective is to get as high as you can, right? After a while, you realize that, hey, this is not going to withstand this. You know, it's going to fall down. You learn about stability. And then you, you build it up, and then, then you watch, and then, and then your parent walks by, and the wind blows it down. It's like, oh, no, it's fallen down. That simulates strong wind conditions, typhoons, in high rises, tells you about sway in buildings. All, and then, you know, if you think about foundations of a building, right? What do you do? You, you make it bigger and bigger, right? So that this structure does not collapse. And then, you know, some other guy comes and kicks it, and the whole building falls down. Hey, that's an earthquake. And you see how much you can withstand. There's a lot you can learn in terms of what you build may not be a very high fidelity simulator, but it really explains to you what really happens. So these are toys that you can really learn a lot from. So this is why you know, kids have a lot of fun and entertainment with, with these toys. You may not have played with building blocks. Maybe you played with cars. Maybe they played with dolls, right? Even that, you learned to understand what is safety all about. You begin to care about people. You begin to take care of things. You begin to dress up that doll. All these are things that you learn and things that you experience to understand the real world. But it's not just the fun and entertainment that's important. You need to make sure that kids get engaged with, with these toys as well. This is very important. And the one way that I can explain to you what engagement is all about is with this device. I'm sure many of you here have this. Get into a, a bus, get into a MTR, or get into any kind of public transport. And you just take a look. No one looks at each other. All they do is they have this device, or they're looking at this. They don't care who's around. They don't care what the environment is all about. This is engagement. If we can build the toy that engages these kids, that's another characteristic you're going to have, need to have. But it's not just one type of engagement. You're going to need different types of engagements to get these kids involved in these toys. Because that is what will guarantee, or that is what will set the path, the future path, of what that kid is going to do. I'll, I'll, I'm a prime example of that. When I was about four years old, you know, those days, this is what? I don't know how far back, OK? At least 50 years ago. <coughs> That's how old I am. <laughs> you know, we didn't have as many toys as you guys have today. We had just one or two toys. And my brother had a mechano set. I don't know how many of you know what is a mechano set. This is a construction kit of steel plates with holes in them. There are nuts and bolts. There are pulleys, wires, strings, OK? And you can build anything you want. When I was about four years old, I had to wait till my brother went out so I can play with this mechano set. 
And I used to build a lot of things. This is, I was about four years old. I used to build a lot of things. And I loved to build stuff. And I became a mechanical engineer. I still love to build stuff. Yes, I teach, but I like to build stuff more than what I teach. So this is something very important. You need to be able to touch, feel, you know, and build things so that others can see as well. But keep in mind something very important. Not every one of us are as fortunate to be able to see, hear, touch different things. There are kids who cannot see, who cannot hear. How can you bring that fun and engagement and the entertainment that we have? We really have to pay attention to those kids as well. This is access to all, universal access. We need to think about those kids. We need to think about what we can build, what we can design for those kids as well. A few other things I want to talk about. You know, when you were small, you may have played with clay, right? You know, we didn't have clay, we had mud. That was our clay. You guys are lucky. You have silly putty, play doh, you know, all these different things. We only had, okay, wait until it rains, you know, then collect some soil. That's our clay. That's what we used to build stuff. We used to use this to build different things. You know, a kid, you know, a child builds a lot of different things, builds it, after it's done, then they take it, roll it back again, do whatever and build something else. What do we adults do? We build things one time, then it becomes a masterpiece in the center of your living room. That's your ornament in the living room. You don't want to do it again. It's like, I don't think I can do it again. What has happened? You know, this is what Picasso said. Every child is an artist, but the problem is to remain as an artist. We are used to a pattern way of doing things. We are used to a routine life that we forget what creativity is all about. We have a lot of people here who've, who've done wonderful things for Hong Kong in terms of the toy business. These are the pioneers in the toy industry. And I think you, the younger generation, really need to get to know all these people because they are the ones who can guide you towards the right path towards what you can do. Now, you know, when you talk about toys, people tend to think, hey, this is not sophisticated. This is not technology driven. Why deal with toys? But think about it, right? Think about some sim something simple as a Monopoly game. When I used to, I still play Monopoly, by the way. I still have a board. You know, we have cards. We have pieces. You put on a board and play Monopoly. Today, what has changed? The game is still the same, but now you play it on iPad, right? What has changed? The basic game is the same. It's the way you do it that's different. You know, think about it. If you have to go from point A to point B, you can walk, you can cycle, then people started getting a motorcycle, then people started getting a car, now people fly. But the interesting thing is now people have gone back, now they're walking and cycling again. Okay, become environmentally friendly. So what is it? You need to understand the basic need, then you can add technology on top of that. It's not difficult to do. But you need to basically understand the need so that we can create these toys that are fun, engaging, and entertaining for kids. If you do that, you're gonna help in the development in many different ways. It can be physical development, emotional development, cognitive development, and even social development. So this is, these are the kinds of things that we need to have from you. I hope, I hope you get my message. You know, where there are lots of different things that we need to pay emphasis on. So make sure that you build these things that are useful, that are novel, that are engaging towards kids, and also keep in mind those who are not as fortunate as us. I want to just finish this by something that George Bernard Shaw said, imagination is the beginning of creativity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Ravi Kunachlike.